Hi traders, um, I thought it would be useful to talk about the trade modes within V2.5. It seems to be causing a few questions uh, amongst the user base. Trade modes were designed so that people who wanted to perform very short term high frequency arbing could basically filter out stationary spreads. So, for example, if we look at say trade off um, time frame parameters are disabled on this chart. A five minute um, chart. This is uh, what should change this. We'll go to um, I don't know euro dollar cables fine. What happens overnight typically? Once the flow starts to calm down, the spread becomes pretty stationary. So I'm talking about from so one in the morning through to in fact, that particular day, it went on for quite a long time, but normally things start to get a bit lively around the Frankfurt Open at 6 o'clock. But that whole period, for several hours overnight, the spread was flat. And that's where you can configure the MA Delta threshold to basically try and filter spreads which fit within a certain channel. So, at the moment, let's just expand things a bit here so we can see what's going on. So you can see here, these dotted green lines represent the MA Delta threshold channel, which is defined by this figure here in the STD indicator, MA Delta threshold. So if you increase that number there, 0 0.001, this channel will widen. If the moving average fall outside the channel, the spread will be considered as directional. And you can see in the spread set data down here, as everything is inside the channel at the moment, the spread is considered stationary. So, if you're depending on the sort of arbing you're doing, if you're trading longer term arbs, say for example on an hourly chart, let's go to the hourly. The moving average is still within the MA threshold, so the spread is still considered to be stationary for trading purposes. If you are concerned about that you could obviously widen the spread but at the end of the day these settings on this hourly basis look pretty reasonable I mean if you you know if you want if you're only interested in stationary spreads or trading within stationary spreads these settings look okay alternatively you can always force the system to trade in stationary spreads by just going to the STD indicator and just widening this MA Delta threshold right out increase it by 10 So now you can see the threshold is miles outside the range of the spread and it's moving average. So this chart will now be considered as stationary pretty much for good unless something absolutely radical happens. But So that's one way of forcing the system to constantly st um, treat spreads as stationary. Um, so really in essence what we're saying is the MA Delta threshold is really useful for overnight, short-term arbitrage, where the spread is in fact stationary. So, example being these sort of cases where you want to basically only trade situations where the spread is operating in a very tight band. And if you are running the system in for overnight high-frequency arbing. You want to make sure as soon as the spread comes outside, or the moving average comes outside the channel, the system basically goes into, it becomes non-active, so it won't trade anymore. Because as flows come into the market around about 6 o'clock when Frankfurt comes online, then things start to move around and the spreads can get, change from being quite stationary to very directional. And this just, using the MA Delta threshold in this way, as a filter, allows you to stay, to keep out of conditions as flow comes into the market and spreads become directional. So that's why it was developed. In terms of the trade types, really there are four. So you've got two stationary and two directional. And the only difference between them in the all is whether you take recoupling spreads or decoupling spreads. And all that means is at the moment, let's just zoom in a bit more. Can you see? The way this, this little spread line here in blue, at the moment it's pointing down. So the, inst so the current setting is down based upon the last printed period. So if we put a line in, and 
and we also put a line in where the last printed period was, you can see that the intersection between the spread and the line there, that was the last printed value for the spread. The current value for the spread, which is wiggling around, is pointing down. That means the spread in the system's mind is recoupling. As soon as that spread moves up above that blue line we've just drawn, the intersection, the system will consider the spread is decoupling. And that's all there is to it. Those are, those, those, that's what determines the trade types. So let's just watch it for a bit and see if it goes into... Oh yeah, it's going into decoupling now because, of course, we've got another time period which has been printed. So I'll just move our cursor along a bit more. Move our intersection line down to where it hits the spread. And it's recoupling again now because it's, it's pointing down. So hopefully that makes sense. Let's just watch it for a little bit longer and see if it, if it goes into decoupling mode again. It probably won't. But anyway, hopefully that makes sense. So this recoupling, decoupling thing is it's a pretty transient setting because obviously you can see how much the spread wiggles around. I mean, clearly, one of the reasons to use, um, say, stationary recoupling is if the spread is on a real tear and so you've set your your trigger level to enter the trade at the say the plus 2 SDD level up here and let's say for example the spread carried on going like crazy you know decoupling away from its mean and you know started to you know really make some some divergence some strong divergence by using a recoupling trade type uh, it would at least keep you out of that trade until the spread did in fact turn around from the last printed position. So, particularly on longer time frames, it's worth using the recoupling mode just to keep you out of strong diver well, strongly divergent conditions. So I hope that provides some degree of clarity about how the MA-Delta threshold works in conjunction with the trade types. So uh, hopefully that, yeah, if there's any questions, please don't hesitate to uh, contact me. It's info at fxrgotrader.com. Thanks for listening.